Hey guys, welcome to The Sounding Mind, the loud inside voice that speaks the truth and nothing but the truth to power. This is the channel that focuses on exposing the hypocrisy of the left agenda. Well, another one has perished. Suddenly, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, dubbed the worst mayor in America, is no longer in office. Her political career is ended as she falls, removed from office formally. Of course, nobody is surprised by this at this point. We talked about how depressed she was in a prior video. But now that voting has concluded, Mayor Lori Lightfoot is no longer a candidate. The two frontrunners will face off in a runoff. As an incumbent, Mayor Lori Lightfoot didn't even place in the top two. The problem is this. As the only incumbent mayor to lose her first re-election bid in the previous 40 years, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot may not be the worst mayor in the city right now, but she may be the worst mayor in Chicago history. Let me therefore give you guys the most latest facts. Let's also look back on some old memories. It's a little bit bittersweet, as I indicated in the previous video. It goes without saying that the removal of America's worst mayor is a good thing. That's the sweet part, I guess. The sad aspect is that all of the viral videos and unstable Mayor Lori Lightfoot meltdowns have been deleted. Now let's take a brief trip down memory lane with some flashbacks. The best moments for Mayor Lori Lightfoot's short-lived political career. We've got some stuff to get into, friends, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this headline from the New York Post. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot loses re-election bid as city battles crime epidemic. And here's a small moment from her concession speech. Just uh, do this. So thank you and, and thank everyone so much. It's obvious, really. We also have a good understanding of Mayor Lori Lightfoot based on their interactions, some anonymous reports, and hacked emails. You can tell she is furious behind closed doors. Backstage, she's probably having a Hillary Clinton moment, berating her employees. What a legacy this Democrat has left behind indeed. Mayor Lori Lightfoot becomes the first Chicago mayor in 40 years to lose re-election. The embattled Democrat, who has been dogged by persistent crime in the city, failed to get enough votes to advance to an April runoff election. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot lost her bid for re-election Tuesday, ending her historic run as the city's first black woman and first openly gay person to serve in the position. I'm curious to know if there's a connection between the two and whether voting and hiring based on identity is a smart move or a persistently bad notion that results in elevating underqualified people to positions of power. Yet you are aware of the identity tricks that these Democrats use, and many of them see it as a superpower. They believe they are unstoppable since they fit all the necessary identity criteria. Her catastrophic first tenure as the city's mayor couldn't be overcome by her intersectional identity arguments. Personally, I find it hard to believe she even ran in the first place. The same question was essentially posed by the local Chicago media. Mayor Lightfoot, every time you have a press conference, you say crime is down. Uh, the economy is booming. Well, that's, but, not, that's not true, but get your question, sir. Across the street, we had a police officer on duty the victim of a hit and run. We have Michigan Avenue, the magnificent miles now referred to as the mile of fear. The water tower place has thrown the keys back to the lender. They say they don't want to be in Chicago anymore. Real Chicagoans are asking me, how could you possibly even consider running for re-election as mayor of the city of Chicago after all the harm you've caused? Well, I disagree with you fundamentally. Um, and I don't think I need to address any and dignify your comments one second further. Her loss is a win for the people of Chicago. This is a woman who didn't understand her constituents, who didn't understand that the first order of government is the safety of its people. Her policies damage Chicago politically, economically, sociologically. After all the evil you've done, would you ever think about seeking re-election? Oh, man. I mean, it's obvious from the way she looks. She asserts that she fundamentally disagrees with him. What, specifically, could make Chicago voters loathe her? She's just such a charming person, in all honesty. Well, not really. Let him talk. The more he really? talks, the more stupid he sounds. No, back again. This is his FOP clown. Don't give me your right-wing nonsense and spewing 
of facts that are completely untethered from the reality. And you and the other right wing nuts. If you read Clarence Thomas' concurrence, he said, thank you, Clarence Thomas. Oh, you Clarence Thomas! I think you're 100% full of what I think. The lawsuit alleges was a profanity laced Zoom call with the mayor last October. You bleeps, what the bleep were you thinking? She's alleged to have said. You make some kind of secret agreement with Italians. You're out there measuring your blank with the Italians, seeing who's got the biggest blank. One of the rudest individuals in public life is Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Really? Holy moly. We all remember this infamous email given how many times material has come to light exposing Lori Lightfoot's true character. When dealing with her own employees, Lori Lightfoot has a complete breakdown. Since my prior requests for office times are routinely ignored, I am now resorting to this. And resorting to this means five particular statements spammed around ten times each. She writes over and over. I need office time every day, not just once a week or some days every day. Breaks or transition times between meetings are not office time. If this doesn't change immediately, I will start unilaterally canceling things every day. Have I made myself clear finally? You've made it quite evident that you are an insane egomaniac, yes. There is also the well-known Lori Lightfoot Yelp review, when she gave VIP Limousine, a tiny limo and party bus rental company, a one-star review and attacked it. Let's have a look at what she wrote. I would never use VIP Limo again. Driver Carlos showed up early for our pickup. A good sign, right? Turned out not be so. Carlos shows up and wants to use our bathroom. A little strange, but fine. Turns out he pisses in our toilet and does not have the courtesy to put down the toilet seats. Beginning of the end. We were going to the United Center. Carlos clearly has no idea who to get there. He is totally reliant on a whacked GPS system that has him driving his huge Cadillac Escalade stretched down extremely narrow neighborhood streets going in a route that made no sense. I had to take over and give him clear directions to get to the expressway. She goes on and on. Then the business owner of VIP Limousines responded under her post on Yelp. Our driver did not use your bathroom. We checked the vehicle cameras and he did not enter your home. You had lots of guests over and, and of them could have done what you claim our wonderful driver Carlos did. Our drivers have GPS systems that work with current events and traffic. Chicago often has festivals and we have to work our way around them. It is not your place to tell him how to do his job. Our drivers ask for a gentleman's phone number, actually, because they don't ever want to seem inappropriate asking for a lady's phone number. And you should appreciate that Carlos took the time to ask for a backup phone number in case you lose signal or battery. Again, our drivers know what they are doing and have experience. It seems to me the only person here who is sexist, my dear, is you. I don't know where you come to your conclusion that you were emasculating him. Maybe you hoped you were. Your language is horrendous and lewd. Just your rant here make me feel embarrassed for you. Also, wow, that's pretty insulting that you refer to women who like to take a lot of pics at their events as dumb female. Your driver arrived early. He got you on time and safely to your event. Your credit card you provided on the contract was declining. We even let you use a different credit card for payment, which is against our rules. And you received an upgraded vehicle twice the price of what you paid without any upcharge as a free upgrade from out company. Wish I could review customers like you. Find something better to do with your time. And you should appreciate great service when you receive it. Just a tiny taste of Lori Lightfoot's personality once more. The past four years have indeed been like that. There hasn't really been a policy or track record to adhere to after all. She has been a terrible failure who has accomplished nothing of significance other than enacting laws that decrease the safety of Chicago people. And it's been four years of Mayor Lori Lightfoot yelling at reporters, other public figures, her own staff, even her own Yelp account leak, which I believe is justified. The question that most people were asking. How could you possibly even consider running for re-election as mayor of the city of Chicago after all the harm you've caused? After four years of shame and a non-existent legacy she's left behind, it once again demonstrates who Mayor Lori Lightfoot is. Not only did Mayor Lori Lightfoot compete for office once more, 
but she also tried to buy votes by offering additional credit to college students. Her most recent scandal stemmed from her last, infamously desperate attempt to win re-election. You all remember the most recent controversy, right? Her campaign crew was caught writing these letters to school boards. As we recently produced an entire video about it, we won't go over it again. You all are welcome to pause the video and read the message for yourselves. But what an overwhelming desire, she remarked. Oh my God, what a train accident. I'm going to miss her. She brought me so much joy, even though she brought everyone else pain. That little garden gnome but she says she lost because she's a black woman and that she's being held to a higher standard. And apparently that higher standard is competence because she was a historical first. She was the first black lesbian mayor of Chicago. Now she's another historical first. She is the worst mayor that Chicago's ever had. She will go down in history a couple of times. What's interesting to me about this is why is this even news? Why are we so relieved? Do you know why? It's like somebody who is the worst mayor in the country. It should have been a foregone conclusion that she was going to lose. But we didn't really know because there's a sense of ambivalence about this sort of progressivism that she is bulletproof. Left-wing black female lesbian made her immune to criticism. There was nothing you could do. Like people were complaining about her forever. And that was where her arrogance came from. She knew that if you went after her, she would come after you with a rant that accused you of being a homophobic racist so that imperviousness allowed her to kind of basically do whatever she wanted, get in all these feuds, completely ignore the suffering of her constituents because she knew that she had a moat. She had a moat the same way Don Lemon had a moat, right? Had a... I have to admit that her tenure as mayor was tremendously entertaining. Lori Lightfoot, the mayor, has been fired. Who will be the next, I suppose, is the question. Who will provide the next amazing kind of entertainment? Democratic incompetence? Not quite sure. Yet, I can be certain that another leftist madman will emerge, most likely in the not-too-distant future. And I guess we have that to look forward to. It's over for Lori Lightfoot. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.